Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm here with my childhood best friend Taylor with her new bow hunk, as my dad would say. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> and I'm up here in my hometown, Illinois, visiting, and I just I brought a bunch of perfumes and I thought to myself, as I was shopping around the local Macy's and they had nothing, I thought to myself, what would a normal person, a normal, think about like a typical niche perfume? Like the things that I brought with me that I just like to wear, that I drown myself in on a daily basis thinking that I smell amazing to everyone around me. I wondered to myself like, do they really think that I smell that good? Yeah, the idea is like the fragrances that I brought are not easily accessible to people. Like I said, their local Macy's or mall, like they have nothing. So if someone who lives in a place like this wants to buy a niche fragrance, they have to blind buy it. And that is always scary because there's a lot of money on the line. So we're just going to have them try some niche fragrances and see their thoughts on it. So be honest, there's no wrong answer. You will not hurt my feelings. Got it. Maybe a little, but I won't admit it. <laughs> <laughs> so before we get started, I just want to ask, what are your guys' favorite fragrances that you have? Uh, mine's the Burberry Her. <laughs> I love that. I would say Dolce & Gabbana, the one, and Light Blue Intense. It's solid choices though. Light Blue Intense, I recommend that one all the time. And <laughs> the one as well for winter, it's amazing. And Burberry Her, I'm the one that got it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now that you know that, let's start smelling some of this niche stuff. So I have most of the unisex stuff. I do have like two designers that I want them to try because I know for a fact that the local like Ulta doesn't have it so I want to see what they think but most of them are unisex. I'm going to say there's a couple that are for more for women. Technically every single fragrance I'm going to show you is for a man or a woman so I'd like to hear your thoughts as a man. Would you wear it? What do you think? Or like on a woman? Okay. Vice versa. First one, let's just get the designers out of the way. Matcha Meditation by Maison Margiela. Have you ever seen this bottle before? Mm -mm. All right, they definitely don't have it. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a designer. They usually have it at Sephora, places like that, but you guys don't even have a real Sephora. <laughs> <laughs> this one is, it's unisex, like I said, but more women wear this. It smells kind of like candy. Yeah. yeah, a little bit. Very sweet. Mm -hmm. There's like a like a chocolate note in here. Mm -hmm. A lot of green matcha sweetness. I got a compliment wearing this today earlier. It's not dry myself. It. It's not the most long lasting fragrance, so it probably probably don't smell like it now. <laughs> but earlier I got complimented, so I feel good about it. This one is very massive. But like this is not something that people are gonna smell and be like, ew, you smell yeah. bad, right? Yeah. No. It's like oh, it smells more smell feminine, nice. I think. Yeah, since it's more on the sweeter side. All right, what's your rating? One to 10. I give it an eight. Eight? Six. Eight. Six. Six. <laughs> Next, we're going to do one that you definitely, if you want this fragrance, you just have to go online and spend like $230. So very okay. risky business because there's no returns, but this is Venom Incarnate by Stefan Umber Luca. I wish, you smelled God of Fire at Christmas. That was, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's been a while though. That was the same, uh, same uh, house, fragrance okay. house, had the blue bottle. And I think you like that one a lot. I don't know exactly. This one's a little different. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, very okay. bold. This is bold. Stefan and Luca, the, the brand is very loud, very strong. Yeah. Trying to it's very fruity. It reminds me of. It's kind of like a spicy strawberry, woody. Would you wear it as a man? I would. And you would smell fantastic. Mm -hmm. I think so. <laughs> <That's>... Yeah. <laughs> I think I like it better than the last one. Mm, I'd give it a nine. A nine? An eight. Nice. I'd give it a nine too, because it's very strong. Now, let's do this is Absolute Aphrodisiac by Anishio. Props for the name. I couldn't spell that if I wanted Absolute to. Absolute aphrodisiac. I don't know why, but when I was picking the fragrances to bring on this trip, mm -hmm. I just brought everything that I thought would be appropriate for fall. I don't know why. Like darker, warmer, cozier scents. So that's gonna be a running theme. <laughs> yeah. It smells like you would have like a candle going while you're baking. It smells really good. Yeah, cinnamony. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely reminds me of the season. All right. It smells more feminine. You think? It's mm -hmm. vanilla, very strong vanilla. Yeah, definitely more feminine, I think. One to 10? 
I'll give it the eight. Seven. <laughs> I wish Seven. I had brought something that was like really out there. <laughs> <laughs> so this fragrance that I have this little sample of is called Via Cavour One by Zerjoff, which is a Torino boutique exclusive. So you can only buy it online or at the Torino boutique in Italy. Ooh. <laughs> because for me, I love this fragrance on a man. It's one of my favorites. One of the fragrances I talk about the most on this channel for a man to wear. So keep that in mind. Just have to go all the way to Italy to get it. <laughs> or, or online. Or online. <laughs> <laughs> or online. Yeah, very manly. Very manly. I like that a lot. The notes in this, we got peach and dark chocolate, patchouli, which is kind of like a green earthy scent. And then caramel vanilla is actually a lot of like very gourmand, but it's very elegant on a man. Yeah. Um, but I wouldn't say it's typically masculine. Um, I think it's even if, like a woman could wear it too. I think it's just me because I'm, <laughs> I'm a very sweet smelling girl. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. But does it scratch that itch? Is it tingling your senses? No. No. <laughs> would you spend two hundred and thirty dollars for this? I would not. Honest opinion. Oh, you can say okay. Okay. It. okay. <laughs> so it's not my most favorite, so I'd probably give it like a seven. All right. I'll go an eight. An eight. Yeah. You like this one a little more. Cool. Here, <laughs> come one. You, you won't come over here. Bonnie, you won't come smell it. <laughs> come on, Bonnie. <laughs> what do you think? Oh, do you like it? Ooh, awesome. Oh, awesome smells. Oh. <laughs> I gotta get that smell. Smells <laughs> <laughs> we have. <laughs> Slow Dance by Rado. Slow Dance to bring girl with you out. I don't think she has got the reference. I did not. He's never had a raging heartbreak in his life. Good for you. <laughs> Ooh, I definitely see what you smell from here. Saying. Well, it's called yeah. Slow Dance. Yeah. Yeah. Well, in, in, in a burning room. In a burning room. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely has like that a smoky aspect yeah, or something. Smoky. You, you smell. <laughs> yeah. A little smoky. <laughs> <laughs> just checked just, out. Just a little. <laughs> okay, okay, Ryan. You, you smell it. <laughs> Gotta eat it. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think about this on your man? Um, for this time, we, you know, like more towards the fall. I could see it more so on a man. I don't know personally if I would wear something that's a little smoky. Yeah. It definitely has, it's kind of overwhelming with the smoky. Guys, we're getting close. All right, so this is another one by, it's technically another designer, but uh, the same one as this little bottle, but I just have a little travel size of it. Hopefully a full bottle one day. It's called On a Date. And the whole like rationale behind this line is like the, it's supposed to invoke <laughs> A feeling like you're in that circumstance. So this one is inspired by a date. I think you might like it. Maybe it smells kind of like like a rosé or something. Yeah, me. I was getting ready to say it smells like a drink that I've had before. Kind of smells like Moscow Mule. <laughs> Moscow Mule. <laughs> yeah, kind of spicy, mm -hmm. like ginger, or something zingy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Would you like to smell that on a date? I can definitely honestly. see that on a date. Yes, honestly. No. What is it about it that you think puts you off? I think it. Oh, she doesn't even want to smell it. Kind of smells like a, <laughs> I don't know, like a cleaning product, like oh. a little too oh. zesty. Interesting. So basically a zero. It's better than smelling like bo. I'll say That's that. true. <laughs> I'm into that. All right. So this next one is one that I got recently, which I'm going to say. Don't let it sway your opinion because you can say you hate it, but I fell hard in love with this one. Iris Fob by Atelier Desors. I mean, the bottle is just immaculate. Gold flakes. <laughs> it looks like a bottle of honey. Ooh. This one's amazing. I, I like it. It's really strong. Yeah, I like it. Don't just say that because I like it. <laughs> I'm not. Because all of my perfumes I love equally. They're all my children, they're all my babies, except for the ones that I hate. I think it's more feminine. Opinion. <laughs> oh, she likes it. <laughs> yeah. To me, it smells like a, like an iris, like a little floral, but like with snickerdoodles. Like kind of like a cookie, cinnamon cookie, something like that. I don't know. That could be crazy. I say it all the time. Yeah. I don't. I don't think I smell the same cookies you smell on. <laughs> Another designer, Tom Ford, Noir Extreme. I bought this at the cosmetic company store thinking that I was getting the Extreme Bar... Pa <laughs> Cut. The Extreme Parfum, but 
No, I didn't read it right. That's what happens when you don't live. They keep releasing flankers year after year and they just add another word onto the end and then you like confuse them. But I actually, turns out I actually really like this one and I might even like it more. So we'll see what they think. I still scored it for like 70 bucks, so it's not bad. When these go for like, like 300 bucks or something, I have no idea. I like it. I could see you wearing that. I could be very wrong though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah Am I wrong? Like you like the fresh pressure. I think I'd wear that to the club. Yeah. 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 <laughs> to the club, what club? I just got this new perfume. Like I drive all the way to Chicago to wear it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what's your rating? I don't know if you've been consistent with the ratings, but that's okay. Nine. Yeah. Nine. Yeah. I, I'll have to agree with you on that one. On a man. Ronnie, what do you think? Mm. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's, it's good. It's good. Goldfield and Banks Silky Wood. Just do one. This one's a little more out there, I think. It's gonna be interesting. Not so typical. I don't like that. <laughs> I think this is kind of oody. Yeah. I don't think it's bad. It's very woody, yeah. right? And dark, and there's saffron. No, I'm not a fan. It reminds me of the one. A little bit, yeah, I can see that. What? 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 She doesn't want anything she to do with it. She doesn't taste the one. She doesn't want <laughs> Yeah, nope, nope. She's like, Ma, she don't like it. I think we only have one more. Eight and a half out of ten, by the way. Oh, cool. Mm, nope. Silky Woods. I'm gonna give out a so, solid four. <laughs> Lintrudy Rouge by Givenchy, another designer, but you know, we're working with, I know I said niche, but we're working with what we got here. So, technically more feminine. This is another one that has ginger in it. I like that one more. I like this one a lot more. Again, it smells like a candy, but it also has the Moscow mule into it. It also smells like grapey too. Yeah, yeah that's what I that. thought the first time that I smelled it too. Something grapey. I think it's something to do with the way the florals are that it creates that effect. Yeah. Kind of reminds me of the first one that we smelled. I don't remember what that My memory is under that far back. Oh, <laughs> my connotation. Yeah, good nose. I can see that. Definitely has the same kind of like floral note. chocolatey newt <laughs> ingredient. Yeah, so what's your rating? Would you like this on Taylor? I think so. Nine. Nine. I, I like that. Not bad, not bad. Yeah. An eight. Eight. Cool. All right, guys. That well, that's all I brought. Oh. The next time I come to town, I'm going to bring the weird stuff. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> the parfums de mar, the oud for great, all the things that your friends like. It was so funny. We went to the fair and like his friends were just going on and on. <laughs> <laughs> parfums de mar, the oud for greatness, this and that. I'm like, wow, you know your stuff. So thank you guys for filming this video with me, giving us a little bit of your inputs. Designer and niche for so yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. 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 <laughs>